Welcome to the Sunday service, everyone. I'm Kalani Das, and uh, the Sunday service, Music Mindfulness, is a community service of Kalani Music and World Drum Club with the purpose of helping, um, helping us, helping you, and our greater global music community uh, to do better and to feel more how you want to feel and be how you want to be in the world. So today, uh, the topic is connecting to source. So I'm going to talk about what that means, uh, at least what that means to me. And if this is your first time tuning in, I want to welcome you. And if it's not, welcome back. And I want to thank all of our patrons also at patreon.com slash Kalani for helping make this uh, possible. Uh, and I'll talk about the instruments that I'm using a little towards the end. I know some of you ask questions about the instruments and the gear and all that. But right now, we want to focus on source. And what do we mean by connecting to source? So what is source? Source is a general term, um, umbrella term that we can use to describe anything that helps us, that nurtures us, and that helps us realize our full potential. I know that's kind of vague, but let's, let's have an example of something we can all relate to, like a tree or a plant. What is the source for the tree? Obviously, the earth, the dirt, the nutrients, water, obviously, uh, things in the air, you know, different kinds of elements in the air, sunshine, you know, all of those things. And um, also, not just what goes in uh, to something, we can consider part of the source cycle because we're in a dynamic environment. So as you know, it's not always about what you put into a system or put what you put into yourself or a tree or whatever. It's also what can move out uh, and through, like a tree needs you know, some trees need sandy soil. They need to drain the water away. We can't just keep adding things and adding things. It's a system. And so it's equally important what we put in to ourselves. And we'll talk about what kind of source sources that we choose 
And, but it's also important what we process through, what we get rid of, what we eliminate. And that's all. That's as far as I'm going to go on that uh, line. But you understand um, it's not always about adding things. Sometimes it's more about releasing or letting things go. Um, you know, a number of years ago, my father dug a well in his backyard. Uh, and he's in an urban environment. He lives in Oakland, California, where I'm from. And he dug a well. And he dug down, you know, dug a pretty deep hole. I think it's about, I don't know, six meters, seven meters. Um, and he got to water and he said, okay, now that the well is dug, the hole is dug, I need to prime it. I need to open up the, what they call tributaries, right? A tributary is a little, they start with like, like a capillary, very, very tiny uh, f passages that feed everything eventually into the well, and then you can take it out. But in fact, you have to keep taking it out. You have to open it up. So you have to get water out of the well so that it, it becomes more functional. It becomes more capable of producing water. And if you stop taking water out of a well, it can actually die. That well could just seal up and become useless so the, what's the lesson there? The lesson is you, you have enough, but you've got to process things through. You can't just, you got to move. You got to move things through. How do we do that with ourselves? Of course, you could imagine uh, processing emotions, processing feelings, moving your body, getting things, you know, in and out of yourself. And, and that could be at a physical level. Of course, with the food we eat, the things we drink, in, out. Um, you can't hold on to that. It becomes toxic. What else can become toxic? Um, things you put in, maybe in your mind, in your head. Thoughts, memories. In, things happen, sure, that's fine. And then out. Done. Finished. <laughs> if you hang on to that stuff, you keep grinding on it, and there's a reason we do that. But if you keep doing that, it can become toxic to you, all right? Emotions, which are a bridge between the body and the mind. Feeling states, same thing. You got to work them out. What helps us do that? That's why we're here. <laughs> because music, music in the arts, sports, dance, you know, all of those things that we do as humans, those are very human things, right, that we've created. Why are they there? I would assert that that's one reason they're there. So we can process things. We can move through. We can do what we need to do to process the things that we're done with. We don't want to hold on to because if we do, they become toxic. The arts, music, dance poetry, whatever it is, can be a useful tool in uh, helping move things in, move things out. So what are the source, what are the types of source for humans, right? We talked about a tree or plant, but what are the, the categories? Well, let's look at four basic categories. What you put in your body, right? Your food, things that you physically do to put in yourself. Information, ideas, thoughts, uh, which include thoughts about experiences. That's stuff that we put in, right? Memories, you've got a lot of memories. That's all things that happen that, that are now in you. Um, the product of those two things, which as I, as I talked about uh, a moment ago, emotional, emotional things that, that uh, that we have, that we experience, you know, emotions are, are there to motivate us. Um, they are that kind of bridge between the physical and the intellectual and maybe even touch on the spiritual. Um, but they too are things that we create, that are created, you know, whether sometimes with our help, sometimes just they happen and they're there. Um, so emotional realm. And then, of course, finally, you could say the spiritual realm. 
the things that are less explainable, uh, more intuitive, uh, more at the aesthetic level. Whatever that means for you. When, when we say spiritual, when I say spiritual, I mean anything that relates to that source that moves everything in the universe. That's what I think of spirit. Spirit means, well, sp respiration is the animating, that's how we be, become animated. Spirit relates to breath, which is the animating factor, right? We stop. If we stop breathing, we stop living. Um, if somebody is spirited, they are motivated, they're animated. So I, I think of spirit as the animating force in the universe. Uh, without it, if everything stopped, of course, time would stop. Everything stops. Everything dies. So you could say that spirit is the, is what, is the difference between life and no life. Uh, but let's just call it the... You know, the thing that moves everything, <laughs> the great force that moves all things. Um, and there's lots of names for that. So those are four, four categories. Those are, we can think of as, you know, coming in, right? Those are our tributaries coming into our well, if we are the well, right? What did we, what did we learn from digging the well earlier? You can't just put things, well, you don't put some stuff into a well, but you actually have to take things out for it to work, for it to function. So the idea with connecting to source is yes, connect to good stuff, good food, good information, focus on healthful, positive emotions. It's not that you can't feel the negative ones. Of course, you wanna feel all your emotions. And then on the flip side, make sure that you are letting things move through and not holding on, right? Not holding on to that. So we need to do both. And, you know, physical, you can imagine what you need to do to do that. Uh, emotional or intellectual. Uh, let's, let's stick with that for a second. The, the idea of ideas, the intellectual stuff. Um, what are some problems that can come up when we hang on to an idea or we, we think we know something, and so then we get stuck with it and we cling to it. Because maybe we're afraid to not know something. Um, I've talked about this in the Evolve podcast. You know, when we, when we say or we think that we know something, we have a tendency to stop um, observing, to stop uh, participating in the moment-to-moment -moment events of our life because we, we kind of put a check box by that thing. We say, yeah, I know that. I know that. I've been there. Oh, yes, I know that person. Yeah, I know them. I don't need to deal with them. I already know them. I know that place. I know this. I know that. I know this. But, you know, all that stuff that we know is old. It's outdated. It's not current. So knowing things, clinging on to ideas, uh, is something that you need to re-examine. You need to you need to re-examine what you think, and what you think you know about the world. Because you know what, the world's changing all the time, and you're changing all the time. So presence, you know, experiencing the world is an ongoing process. Pay attention. Reconsider. Question yourself. Question what others tell you. Uh, examine the world as it is. Nothing is hidden in the universe. Everything's right here for you to experience, examine, see for yourself. You know, it's all here, folks. There's <laughs> nothing hidden. Uh, just like music. There's nothing hidden in music. It's all there. Okay. Um, on the release side, I think music, like I said, art, music making, ex anything expressive is there as a tool for you to help. You can process your emotions, physicality, if you need to work it out, dance it out, drum it out, uh, you can do that. And that's a really positive, constructive way to connect physically, even intellectually, emotionally, for sure, and spiritually. So the arts are 
the tool we have. That's the main tool that we've developed as humans to help us uh, not just connect with source, but to release, to pull that water out of the well. So why? Why do we need to get rid of this stuff? To open it up, to open up. It's like, let me give you an example. Um, kindness. If you are kind to people, do you run out of kindness? I don't want to use up all my, all my goodwill on strangers, do I? What if I run out? <laughs> what if I run out of love? What if I run out of kindness? Well, you know what? It's like the water in the well. The more you exercise it, the more you take out, the more you put out, the more that comes in. You open it up. You open up the potential. Right? You guys know this. Kindness begets kindness. So that really should be the main takeaway from today. You're not going to run out of kindness. In fact, the opposite will be true if you offer grace, kindness, empathy, love, consideration, goodwill, whatever you want to call it, uh, to others you will in fact create more of a flow of that and an abundance, not less. So we don't have less water in a well when we pull water out, only momentarily, of course. Uh, but you know what happens? More comes in and more comes in and that well becomes more functional. It is able to provide more of that resource. All right, so that's the message for today. So connecting to source, yes, choose wisely. Uh, make good choices about the stuff you put into yourself, but also find ways that you can let things go, process, be done with it. Uh, I talked earlier about why we tend to grind on thoughts. You know, why do we keep thinking in the same things, you know, maybe something happened and it's there, it's there every day, we go back to it, we go back to it, we go back to it. And this, the, the simple answer is because our mind um, treats a lot of things like a puzzle. Our minds love to solve puzzles. And when we don't have a clear answer for things, when there isn't a clear solution or reason, we keep looking, we keep thinking that I just need to think about this some more, I need to figure it out. I need to understand. I need to know why. Why did that happen? What's going on? Why did that happen to me? Why did they say that? Why did they do that? Why did this happen to those people? Sometimes, you know, a lot of the times things happen, right? But there isn't a clear reason. And if you get stuck, if you, if you think there is, then you're, you're going to keep trying to solve that puzzle. It's not a puzzle. It's not, a, it's not something to be solved. So you need to understand that and just let things be the way they are, you know, accept it and then move on. Because if you don't, uh, you're going to, you know, your mind's going to keep trying to solve that. And it's just not, it's not going to, it's not solvable. There's, you may never be satisfied. Um, so if you think there's, a, there's an answer, you can figure it out. That is kind of the first problem. Uh, so don't get caught up in that trying to. But your mind's going to want to go there because your mind loves to solve puzzles. It's good at that, right? So just know that, that your mind is going to want to take you there to try to figure it out, get the answer, solve the riddle, understand why. Um, and uh, it's up to you to manage that tendency and to be a little bit higher up in, in the management <laughs> and know that your brain, your mind is going to probably want to do that and uh, just expect that and say, it's okay. I don't need to, we don't need to figure that out. We don't need to ruminate on that. Um, okay, so if you're, if you're having the same thoughts over and over and over and the same things, you're trying to figure it out, that's a clue, all right? So if you notice yourself doing that, figure out a way to manage that. Maybe you need to, you know, that's what I. That's why I say use the arts um, to help process all of that. All right, what instruments am I using? I'm using a, a little rain stick out of a yucca tree. 
I've got a Native American style flute um, made by uh, Journey of Life Flutes, Dan Shelchow, uh, B minor flute. And this is made out of some wood that I brought to him. I brought back from Thailand. And um, he made a couple flutes for me out of that wood that I hauled back in my luggage <laughs> when I went to Thailand. I'm also playing um, this tongue drum um, by Kosmoski Tongue Drums. And I just did a, a video on this instrument that you can see on World Drum Club. So you can go over there and look at that. And, um, and I also have a, a little shaker here, so maybe I'll... And I made a video on this. I made this shaker out of Yakult bottles. Yakult, Yakult is, a, is a probiotic yogurt drink, Japanese. And um, these are four, it's four little bottles. And I made this, I also made a video on how I made it, so you can make it, if you like. I'm using a Boss 505 uh, loop station right here. And uh, that's pretty much all the gear. So I'm gonna record a little bit more, play a little bit more, and send you on your way to connect with Source and do a, maybe a little better job of managing everything in your life so you can feel more how you wanna feel and be how you wanna be in the world and know that no matter how kind you are, how loving you are to others, you're never gonna run out of kindness and love. Don't worry, <laughs> there will be a lot more uh, where that came from. So try that out. And I wanna thank you again for stopping by these, um, you know, for these talks. It's just something I do for the community, not asking for any, any monetary support. If you like it, share it. Uh, if you'd like to connect with me more, you can do that at, at uh, patreon.com slash Kalani or Kalani uh, music.com. You can send me a message from there. The Evolve podcast, which I've produced about 20 plus episodes of, is still at KalaniDoss.com and on the iTunes store. That's all free. And again, a community offering just to chip in and help uh, present some ideas that I think might be useful. That's it. Just want to give back. So that's what, that's what this is all about. All right, my friends, um, I, want, I want to wish you a really wonderful day or night, wherever you are. Have a great week. And uh, if you have any questions, you can put them in the comments or send me a message. I'll try to get back to you. And of course, if you're interested in the music side, you know, most of the videos on World Drum Club are for music enthusiasts and music based. This one is more about music mindfulness, spirituality, wellness, well-being. All right. So let's make some music. And uh, I'll see you next time. I'm trying to do these every Sunday at 11 a.m. And I'll do my best to do that.